Okay, so here is a bonus segment number nine to the Seamer Duncan convertible preamp module series that I just got done with. I just wanted to show you how these module PCBs are common to more, some of them are common to more than just one module. Now I originally drew these to scale for a press and peel style toner based iron on transfer which you would print this out on an electrostatic printer onto this special stuff, press and peel. It's kind of like a generic name for it. Anyways, you, know, you iron this onto a blank PCB, you etch it with ferric chloride or whatever process you use and bam, you, you know, when you're done you've got copper traces on the board, you, you know, like SOS pad this off, drill your holes, um, you know, and you're, you're good to go. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have made these have, like, be donut shapes instead, and this was all drawn AutoCAD, so, uh, anyways, so you can see here, High gain and presence module both use this SD12346 design. The cast code had its own design. The normal and classic modules and the, and the low cut normal and low cla cut classic modules would also have all use this same PCB, the SD412345C. And then here we have solid state FET module which had its own design, the solid state IC module which had its own design, and the classic distortion which has its own design. Now the, there's a few modules that I did not create a PCB design for because they're not do-it-yourself friendly <clears throat> and that would be the EQ modules, the hot mod, and the Oh, there was one other one that I can't think of. There was like three three module designs that I was like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make up a PCB layout because they're just not do-it-yourself friendly at all. So, just um, a little tip for you in case you're thinking about tweaking any of your modules. You know, there are some modules that are all common to each other using the same PCB. And you could even, you know, use this to etch your own if you're so inclined. Just, you know, in the comments say, hey, I want you to email me these PCB layouts and, uh, you know, put your email in, in a way that, uh, you know, robots won't find it and send you a bunch of spam. And uh, I'll send you an email with this stuff. You can etch your own. If you know if they work out great, you can let me know. Tell me what you did. Maybe you know I might make a video on it. Like, well, so and so sent me a, or told me that they did such and such to this module, and it worked out great. And I can you know make a video about it and let everyone else know. So, thanks. I hope you found this series useful and informative and um, leave your comments or questions in the comments below and thanks for watching.